Hello, my friends. It is time for math today. We are going to work on thinking about subtraction and how it might relate to addition, which is kind of a hard thing to do because it's making you think a little bit backwards. But I think that you are all super smart and that we can all make it work. So we're going to start today with 10 objects. They can be any 10 objects at your house. You could use some cereal, you could use Barbie shoes, you could use toy cars, you could use 10 markers. I have, I'm going to tip the computer down so you can see it. I have 10 cashews. Cashews are a kind of nut and I wanted a little snack while I was making this math lesson. So I got some cashews out of my drawer to have as a snack. So I have my 10 cashews and I want to think, what would happen if I took three of them away? So I'm going to have my 10 cashews. I'm going to put three off to the side. And I want you to think, what might that answer be? Hmm. Let's see. Did you get it right? Let's see. I took the three away. So here's my three that are away. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I look over here on the board, and I'm going to put the computer back up so you can see. I have 10 take away 3, because that's how many we took away, and we knew that there are 7 cashews left on my plate. So I'm going to erase this because I don't think we need to cross off right now, because we've got this. Now when I said we want to think about what it might be as addition, let me get into the color. The orange one's still over there on the floor. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you watch today's reading video. So I'm going to look at it as addition. Three plus hmm, equals 10. What do you think goes here in the blank? That's right. It is seven. Three plus seven equals 10. And we know that because we can look back at my cashews. I'm going to tip the computer down so you can see them. And over here I have three. And we know that this was seven because we counted it. And if we add them all back together, let's count to see how many we have. Added them back together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I add them back together, I get 10. Now let's try another problem. Let's try 10 take away 4. Let's see if we can figure it out. You try. Okay, let's see if your ears match as mine. I have 10. I'm going to take four away. I'm just going to slide them off to the side. Let's see how many I have left. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you get it right? 10 take away four equals six. If you did, give yourself a big pat on the back. Give yourself an air high five because I think you are rock stars. So 10 take away four, we counted as Six. So then I'm going to look at this problem here. Four plus what equals ten? What do you think? Correct. I'm just going to move this six down. Four plus six equals ten. So today I want you to keep trying making that addition and subtraction connection. And if it's really difficult, that means we just need a little bit more practice. Have a great day and we will see you 